I'm here today with Al Van Nostrand. Today we want to spend time specifically talking about the hypothermia program. Hypothermia is one of those programs that it's, it seems that most of the congregation in some way, shape or form gets involved in. They do, they do. And it's, it's kind of uh, across the spectrum of the church we've had involvement and it's, it's, uh, it's been phenomenal, the, uh, the turnout and the support we've gotten from the church. What, what has been most meaningful to you personally and your participation in the program? What makes me happy is helping people without really expecting anything in return. The, uh, the truth is being with our guests, just sometimes a smile, a thank you or a nod, just kind of fills me with satisfaction. I, I'm not looking for platitudes, just that little mild uh, feedback really makes me feel good. Some of the guests return each year, but at the beginning of our hypothermia week, we're really just getting to know strangers who, who are coming into the church. But by the end of the week, they're, some folks are very close to friends. Some folks just are, they, they appreciate it, but they're not really outgoing. I find a lot of satisfaction in just getting to know some of them a little bit. How have you been blessed, blessed by it or what change might it have brought in your life? Well, there's a number of, a number of things that come to mind. Uh, it, part of it is, is within the church, getting to know some of our, some of our members a little bit better instead of just a Sunday morning, actually working in the kitchen and just getting to know our members a little bit better. We've had the joy of uh, having other churches help us, you know, working different nights and getting to know them a little bit better. So just just learning some of our church family is gives me a lot of satisfaction. But as I mentioned earlier, helping helping folks makes me makes me feel better. And it, it sounds selfish that I'm trying to make myself feel better by helping them, but it it isn't that. It's just you just feel good just helping and and trying to get a I like to try to make some of our guests chuckle or smile a little bit. So I work at that a little bit and some of them don't appreciate it. And I, I, I set up some boundaries, but it does make me feel good to do that. And I'll be honest, uh, I've had times in my life where I didn't really know where my next meal was coming from. And that, that was really a terrible feeling. So being able to help other folks get through that just helps me to understand how other folks have helped. It reminds me of how folks helped me and my when I was younger. And it's nice again to, to do that, to do that pay it forward. Are there some ways that you might identify how God is at work in this program? I, I know our guests are going through some very troubling times. Not not all of them, but some of them are going through some really difficult times, whether it's you know financial issues, uh, emotional issues or substance abuse type of thing, if not all of these at the same time. The fact that so many of them can stay positive through this and and give us, say thank you and, and actually help each other. And, and I, I just, I see God's hand there. I, I it's, uh, I, I, I take stock in the fact whether they realize it or not, God's hand is there.